Colin. Sam. Lesson wants us to build a robot dog arm robot. That sounds cool. But he wants it by Saturday. All right, we have to build a robot from nothing to something really quick. And like every robot, whether it's quick or not, it starts with a sketch. So let's get into it. So we know it needs arms that can jump rope. So probably on the outside in the middle. Symmetrical makes sense, so it works the same either direction. Just a little body in between. Two arms, wheels, wheels, googly eyes, done. We got it all designed up. Arms, body, wheels, good to go. On to the next step. Well, he started with these robot dog motors. They're very strong and very fast. So we decided to make them into a robot with two arms that can jump rope. What do you need me to do? I would say one notable thing that the robot hasn't done is driven at all. All right, what are you gonna do? I need to cut out its arms. It seems complicated, let's do it. Okay. <laughs> Colin and I have been building robots for over 20 years. And if you want to get started, we've created the Havoc Academy Crash Course just for you. It teaches you everything you need to know to build your first robot. Plus, it comes with all the tools or components you'll need to get it together. So click the link above or in the description below for more. Now, let's get back to the build. So this is our, my motor cover. So that's like our little, top part and then we've got this is where all the this is where all the junk goes and then the junk that doesn't fit in there goes in here oh beautiful yeah and what what is this printed out of this is all um carbon fiber petchy this is the weird drive motor well you can't really see it because like i said i did a lot of work to try and hide it that's where it will go what metal is this this is all titanium, like a battle-tested eighth inch. And then we've got all these 3D printed parts like this. You've got TPU carriages that slide into these parts. And you know, the idea is to try and use all of these under-weighted parts to make an assembly that is stronger than the sum of its parts. The one question is when you get everything interlaced so much, does that one hit just ruin everything at once? That's what I'm scared of. I have like eight arms in here and I gotta get them out. So the arms are like this? I mean, yeah, they're like this. But this is, what is this stuff? Oh, this is UHMW. This is an industry standard fighting robot material. So what, what do you have to do to get eight of these arms out of this plastic? So I have my tool paths. It's all like nested in here. Well, the tool paths are, inside the computer and then i post them onto a flash disk gives me the g-code and the g-code is gonna cut using big long tool it's got two cutting edges okay just been doing a bunch of wiring on jump rope now i'm just about to put some battery connectors on all of the vests and then that should be enough to do a test drive all right, got all the ESCs wired up, the receiver bound, the drive motors are all wired up, and now plugging in all the VESCs to update their firmware and get them spin in the right direction and everything. How, how do it go for you today, Colin? Well, <laughs> I ended the day with running eight printers again. You can see it runs four motor, four wheel drive, and the left side is tied together. So when the back left goes forward, the front left also goes forward. And the same is true on the mirrored side. So when the front right goes, so does the back right. And that allows us to have tank steering. So when the left side goes forward and the right side goes back, the whole thing spins in place. Okay, now it's all scratched up, so it's time to solder. Now the connector's tinned, the wires are tinned. I'm tinned and just gonna bring it all together. So we just flashed our ESC with some really basic AM32 settings just to get a, a test going. It's currently writing to the ESC right now. And once that's complete, we'll hook it up to our radio system and give it a test. If you don't know what flashing an ESC is, it's just changing the settings. 
We teach you all that and more with the Havoc Academy Crash Course Kit. Click the link over here for more. Now back to me building jump rope. Or... All right, that's a good sign. I guess it loaded up. Well, it spins. There's a delay uh, between going forward and backwards. So we just got to tweak the settings a bit more. Once we like get it good on this one, we'll save it. And then it's really easy to apply to the rest of them. Do the thing. Yes, and now when we go left and right. My girlfriend loves it when I work on robots late at night. <laughs> So the way it's going to be set up is every ESC has its own channel on this eight channel receiver and I just tell the transmitter here that when I put my stick forward it does all four motors forward, when I do the stick backwards it does all four motors backwards and when I turn it does the left side one way and the right side the opposite. Basically each one of these is going to get bolted on the side of the robot. And this is what flips it over. So it's like not gonna get under any robots so fast. We gotta make it have a skinny little point. We're gonna use this cutting tool here. So I angled the arm, cut that flat, and then I have a second jig that's still attached to the CNC. So I can flip it over, plane the other side down with the CNC, and that gives me a nice sharp wedge that I'm gonna use to flip bread right over. Excuse me? <laughs> <laughs> Austin, will you come look at this thing? How do we make the robot fun for the crowd to watch. Wait, did you see the eyes? Do you like a little bit of yeah. personality? I feel like with them jiggling around in there, you mm -hmm. know, it'll have like a nice little energy. Yeah. So How long does this take to print? Eight hours, eight hours. All right. Print some more. The beauty of the AMs is they're small. I get it. Oh, well I have the, I have a smaller version of these. Okay. All right, we're here with the henchmen, and we've got a whole table set up. This is the Thursday before the tournament. We have tomorrow, and then a touch of Saturday, maybe. But y'all are working on the weapon arms, it looks like. We're on the weapon arms, so we got our hubs socketed into our weapons. We got our weapons looking like they're able to go on the ground and then flip up, and then also go behind the robot. So, we got. Okay. 360 degrees of wedge. That's something. <laughs> You're close to the end, whether the robot is or not. <laughs> uh, good luck, y'all. Thank you. Introducing Jump Rope. All right, we finished up the bot. It's built, it works, it jumps, it ropes, but does it fight? Welcome to the National Habit. And rock it. We do have a really interesting lifter bot coming up next, brought by NHRL founder Austin McCord. Oh, yes, we've um, heard a lot So about I'm jump very rope. excited to see this. Our own Sam Hansen, who normally joins us up here on the broadcast desk, put a lot of work into this robot. Austin always brings fascinating designs to these tournaments. Fight, robots, fight. Okay, the moment we've been waiting for, jump rope is across the cage first. Jump rope trying to get in there, get under Mirage, not quite working. 
Mirage a little too low for that. Oh, and there goes the blue arm of Jump Rope. So down to just one. Mirage now looks like it's backing towards Jump Rope and now flips around. I don't think it wants to leave its backside vulnerable and there's an exchange and now Mirage is on top of its head. My, my, how the turntables. Jump Rope though not taking advantage of some of these uh, opportunities it has. It can get in any which way. Yeah, I'm a little surprised by the lack of aggression we're seeing here. Of course, this is a new robot, so driving experience is a little on the low end. Oh, it's going to come to a countdown. We had just seconds left in the fight. In fact, four left over. Knockout. But it is a knockout, so congratulations to Austin and Jump Rope. Colin, you made it through the tournament with Jump Rope here. How do you think you all did? I think we did pretty good. We won a fight against Mirage. Mm -hmm. We lost a fight where basically everything came off of the robot. Including these arms here? Yep. But we have room for improvement. We got a lot of parts still left over. So I think it's like back to the drawing board. Keep watching our videos. Thank you.